During the coronavirus pandemic, telehealth apps have seen a surge in popularity. With just a click, patients can speak to their doctors on their phones, bypassing sitting in offices potentially being exposed to COVID-19. Rick Ross, rapper and celebrity entrepreneur, is cashing in on the explosion. It, it, it began 10 years ago. I believe it began with my first seizure that I suffered. I've been healthy. I've been an athlete my, my entire life. So me becoming an artist, me traveling, flying five times a week, me, you know, up in the studio, up to, you know, up towards, you know, 20 hours a day, possibly. Uh, it actually took a toll on me. And um, I began, I had a seizure. I got up from my very first one, walked away from it. You know, me being a young black male, never was accustomed to going to the doctor, always felt it was a huge inconvenience. Uh, I had a seizure on the flight, called a private jet 45 minutes later, I was on a jet flying off again. I had another one. I woke up in a different situation that I just couldn't walk from. So I believe that was personally my introduction to Jet Doc. Obviously, COVID-19 has absolutely changed the way we access and how often we can access our healthcare professionals. So telehealth, which was once kind of a wonky, you know, video conference feature that clinics offered is now becoming a necessity. Healthcare analyst Craig Settle says he's a fan of JetDoc's business model, but says that racial disparities in healthcare as an issue is way too complex for one startup to handle. So in general, I would say that um, there are disparities in the uh, delivery of healthcare in many uh, low-income communities. And then there is a direct and indirect biases that are part of the healthcare system or the delivery. And so there is a general distrust among African-American people. What I originally thought was going to be a fabulous lifestyle story featuring Rick Ross about his health resolutions for the new year, his newfound lifestyle, morphed into something greater. And we began to really explore healthcare and disparities within healthcare by interviewing him as well as the founder of JetDoc. Like Ross, I actually had a health scare when I was 30. I had a stroke. Um, you know, he's been building his music career. I've been building my entrepreneurial career in healthcare. And at that moment in time, I was super stressed out, you know, just trying to do a lot. I had just got married, just had my first song. And, you know, when you're an entrepreneur, you have a lot of weight. And it, I ended up in the hospital. JetDoc is setting itself from other players in the market by targeting people of color, especially African-American men, which is why they hired Rick Ross as its strategic partner. We are not a health insurance company. We do not require health insurance. You can think of us as a club, the, a JetDoc health club. You know, I talked about the legacy of bad experiences with the healthcare system, right? So if you can bring the celebrities uh, and then rappers and these guys are obviously, you know, part of that. If you can bring those folks into the community and ensure and ensure that people are uh, comfortable with the concept, then it makes it possible then for a product such as this to, um, be beneficial because it'll be re, uh, well received. I've struggled with weight loss my entire life and I've finally made my mind up over the last five years. I've lost 80 plus pounds. I've addressed and adjusted certain eating habits. Of course, my sleeping habits, which I think was my, my largest fault. Um, and like you say, being a, a, a black male, a, a father, a brother, a son, an entrepreneur, an artist, a performer, a writer, an actor, an author, it, it, I can never do enough. And I think um, it's something that you gotta keep in mind. I gotta have a doctor right here at my fingertips. Privacy is a huge thing. Instead of walking into a doctor, being on TMZ, just because I wanted to get a, some advice from a doctor, I could just get it over the phone. 
Obviously, telehealth has countless benefits convenience-wise and safety-wise, but I've spoken to other healthcare entrepreneurs in the space, including Dr. Berzin, the founder of Parsley Health, and she actually recommends that you never replace your primary care physician with telehealth. But telehealth is one way for the healthcare industry to better treat those with chronic health issues at scale.